In our division, we work on a variety of pathogens, both on bacterial and parasitic origin. I personally work on malaria, uh, which is one of the major uh, public health threat uh, all over the world. But we have also uh, faculty working on other diseases, which includes Staph aureus, uh, which causes MRSA, as you know, HIV, TB, as well as intestinal diseases, enteric diseases. The drug resistance is a serious public health threat these days. So we try to develop next generation of therapeutics so that we can combat drug resistance, which is prevalent against all microbial diseases. My primary research that's sponsored by the NIH is to understand how bacteria can make proteins and what antibiotics do to disrupt that. So many of the clinical antibiotics that people take when they get an infection target the way bacteria synthesize their own proteins. We know now that a lot of bacteria become resistant in the clinic and also out in nature. So one of the reasons that they're showing up with resistance so frequently is we don't understand fully what the mechanisms are the bacteria have to combat the drug. And so the research is focused on understanding that with the hope that we can make antibiotics that they can't become resistant to. One thing that's um, pretty unique about the environment here is because it's growing, you don't have established mechanisms for the way you're supposed to think or the way you're supposed to do something, and there's a lot of room for creativity. But one thing that we're doing well, and I think it's getting much stronger, is we're interacting with other disciplines, meaning someone like from a photonics college or a chemistry department, in ways that haven't been done before. And I collaborate with uh, leaders in the field. Uh, my current leaders, uh, the collaborators are from uh, Sloan Kettering uh, Institute and Columbia University and other source, sources. And I think that's interdisciplinary efforts are the ones that are going to show, uh, provide new answers and show new directions for research. We become very directed and sort of pigeonholed as you become trained in one discipline that you forget there's a whole world out there that hasn't been explored yet.